Hello and welcome to Global Eye. I'm Parikshit Lutra, Prime Minister Modi, to visit France on the 13th and 14th of July. Narendra Modi will be the guest of honor at the Bastille Day Parade to be held on the 14th of July. A 269 member tri service contingent of the Indian Armed Forces will be participating in the parade alongside French Defense Forces. French President's diplomatic advisor was in Delhi this week to hold preparatory meetings with NSA Ajit Doval and also call on the Prime Minister. Defence, space, nuclear collaboration will be a priority during this visit. France is expecting some progress on its offer to sell Rafale fighters to the Indian Navy as well as the proposal on co-development of jet engines by DRDO and French company Safran. India and France are considering a collaboration in space sector and setting up of launch facilities in India. Both sides are expecting progress on the nuclear deal for reactors in India as well. Let me take this forward with Sumit Anand, President of Indo-French Chambers of Commerce and Industry and Arun Singh, former Indian Ambassador to France. Gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, Ambassador Arun Singh, the significance of this visit, Prime Minister, will be the guest of honour at the Bastille Day Parade. He will be the first foreign leader to be present during President Macron's term. How do you see the optics, the significance of this visit? Uh, Parikshit, certainly an important visit. So I think he'll be the first uh, foreign leader to be present during the second term of President Macron. Uh, during the first Trump, uh, term, President Macron had invited uh, President Trump of the US. And you would recall that in 2009, uh, Prime Minister Manmohan Singh uh, was also a guest of honor at the Bastille Day Parade. And there was a contingent of the Indian Armed Forces there. But this is a very, very rare honor. And, uh, you know, as uh, you mentioned for in President Macron's entire term, he, he will really be only the second leader. I think it's a reflection of the fact that there is a high level of trust and confidence in the relationship. And they want to signal that to people both in India and France and globally. You know, when I was ambassador there, I, I used to have meetings in the President's office at the LSA or the Foreign Ministry, or say, or the Ministry of Defense. The, the discussions were grandid, frank, and candid sharing of perceptions and strategy, reflecting the trust and confidence. And this has developed over time. Uh, as it has been mentioned, we are marking 25 years of the establishment of strategic partnership between India and France. And this was done in 1998. And that was significant because that year we had done our nuclear test. And France was the only one of the five permanent members of the UN Security Council mm -hmm. that did not uh, criticize India for the test and opposed sanctions against India. Uh, Russia, a very strong partner of India, had mm. opposed sanctions against India, but had criticized India for the test. So that started the process of establishing the strategic partnership. Now, in 2008, when US had led the world to end the nuclear apartheid for India and get exemptions for India for, from the International Atomic Energy Agency and nuclear supplies group, after that, because of some difficulties in the India-US bilateral negotiations, the first country with which India had signed a civil nuclear cooperation agreement was with France. And this was on 30th September uh, 2008. Mm. And with the US, we were able to do it only 10 days later on 10th October. And then again, you'll recall that in, in August 2019, mm. when India had taken action on Article 370 in the framework of our constitutional process, China had tried to move the UN Security Council right. uh, against India. And it was France which took the lead, supported by the US, to block that action. So there has been uh, you know, some strategic convergence. The two countries have been working together. It is reflected also in the exercises we do, the military purchases we do uh, with France. And there's another reason is why France is a very important mm. partner for India. You know, India talks of maintaining strategic autonomy of its decision making of a multipolar world. Mm -hmm. Now, in that framework, in the contestation playing out between US, Russia, and China at the global level, one important partner for India will be Europe. And in Europe, the only country mm -hmm. with which India is able to have cooperation in strategic areas, defense, civil nuclear, and space, is with France. Because in space and civil nuclear, it is France that has the right. great capacities uh, in Europe. So because of all that, France has become a very important partner for India. The two countries have worked together uh, for some years now, mm. reflecting uh, growing trust and confidence in the relationship. Okay, those are very important points. Uh, 
and both countries in a way enjoy strategic autonomy uh, at their own level. And yes, we are going to hear some big announcements on defense, space and nuclear cooperation, as Ambassador Arun Singh pointed out. But uh, Sumit Anand, to get you in at this stage, as the Indo-French Chambers of Commerce and Industry, are there certain recommendations that have gone from both sides? Are there certain expectations that you have? Uh, thanks, Parikshit, for having me. Now, I think the expectation is that uh, the acceleration that we are seeing in the business relations, which is quite recent, uh, continues. And I think we have the support of the leaders of both countries uh, to do that. Uh, I think that's what's changed, in my view, since the last visit of uh, Prime Minister on the 14th of July back in 2009. Uh, if you look at uh, both in the trade side, though, uh, you know, the objectives that the Prime Minister and the President of France had said to achieve uh, 15 billion euros of trade by 2025, that was achieved three years in advance in 2022. But actually, the relationship between France and India is not only about trade, it's also a lot about investment. Uh, and French companies are investing in India to, you know, with, to take, uh, to work with the talent that we have here on the services side. And there's a true partnership that has emerged there, as well as in manufacturing now to cater to the domestic market. And we see that across industry. So I think what our expectation is that both the leaders will, uh, you know, continue to support this acceleration. There's going to be an India, a France CEO's forum meeting. Uh, and I'm sure uh, what will come out of that will be further encouragement to work across various sectors. I can go into some of those uh, if you want in a minute. Right. Uh, Sumit, Anand, I would specifically like to ask you about defense. There are two or three deals that are being spoken about here. One is the deal for Rafale Marine aircraft for the Navy. And uh, the French are really hoping that there would be progress and a deal would be sealed during the prime minister's visit. And the other is co-development of jet engines. Uh, what is the current stage of discussions on both those deals, according to you? So, you know, I'm not privy to the government-to-government -government discussions, and it would be uh, uh, especially in defense, so I, I will not be able to comment on that. I, I'd be happy to share with you some of the other sectors. We have a lot of focus on, obviously, the, the strategic partnership, which covers air defense and aerospace and defense. But I think what's important to highlight is the Indo-French business relationship is today far more widespread. Obviously, uh, civil aviation is, is a big one, and we know that uh, Airbus has taken a strong position in India and with the recent historic deals with Air India and Indigo, uh, you know, 750 airplanes that are being sold to our Indian airlines to support the development of the aviation sector in India. Uh, there's an export-driven uh, objective there. But if you look at also other sectors, whether it's the agro sector, we have a lot of French companies that have invested here. If you look at the energy sector, with the renewable sector, and, you know, Total Energy has put more than 3 billion euros in India in the last few years. You look at the industrial sector, with Schneider Electric, uh, which has done a big acquisition and has made India, you know, uh, is now India is the third largest market in the world. You can look at other uh, sectors such as uh, IT and technology, and, you know, Capgemini, for example, and others employ uh, a lot of Indians in their, in their teams in India. In fact, they have more team um, employees in India than they have in France, about 180,000. Uh, the same thing with the pharma sector. You look at transport and logistics, you know, with Alstrom supplying the Indian railways. Uh, and logistics companies, which are also very active here, mm -hmm. such as CMA, CGM. You look at automobile, you know, Renault and PSA are both active in India. So actually the France-India business relationship uh, is a lot about uh, uh, various sectors now it's uh, of development. And all of them are here to a, be part of the India development story, to work with the Indian talent for India and the global right. markets, uh, and to make okay. more in India as uh, India is mm -hmm. pushing a making in India agenda, right? Right. So greater investments, greater manufacturing in India and greater investments in both countries is something that the chambers would be hoping for. But to put those both uh, uh, questions to you, uh, Ambassador Arun Singh, as far as the deal on Rafale aircrafts for the Navy uh, and also co-development of jet engines, specifically on the jet engine bit, how do you think this deal that France is proposing is different from what U.S. has offered to India? So they are different deals, and I think, uh, as I see it, uh, at least in terms of information that has come out in the public domain, uh, that, that they can proceed in parallel. Uh, in one case, it is for Tejas Mark II. The, in the other case, it is for the AMCA, the Adma Advanced uh, uh, Medium Combat uh, Aircraft. So these are two different arrangements, and in one case, it is a transfer of technology of an existing engine 
and co-production being done uh, in India. That's the U.S. Uh, GE engine. And for that engine, the U.S. is has indicated willingness to transfer technology higher than it has ever done so far to any other country. In the other case, Safran and DRDO would work together based on their experience to develop a new product for use requirement of the AMCA aircraft. So these are two different deals and uh, it will, I'm certainly um, uh, it's useful to pursue them in parallel so that they can also compete with each other. But uh, clearly discussions are going on, but what is the stage uh, that uh, those discussions have reached, I think uh, there isn't enough uh, visibility in the public domain, which is only natural. Uh, once they are finalized, uh, they would be uh, announced. But I think, uh, you know, aside from defense, another area which is very important for the India-France uh, partnership is cooperation in civil nuclear. Uh, and as I mentioned, the first country with which India mm -hmm. signed the agreement after 1998 test was with France. And there, earlier, Arriva of France and now EDF mm. of France have been in discussion with NPC Isle of India to set up nuclear power plants here. And there have been issues because some difficulties in France, mm. issues related to cost uh, of production. But those are being hammered out and they're looking at what kind of industrial collaboration to do, what kind of production to do in, in India to cut down in costs. But another area we should pay attention to really is space cooperation. You know, we have launched more than 20 of our mm. satellites uh, from the French uh, uh, launch station in Kuru. And Narayana Space has been a very important partner mm. for India. And India and France have done uh, joint satellites. Mm. Uh, Saral, uh, Megatropic for studying the ocean surfaces, for studying the environment, uh, and the atmospherics. And uh, they are also uh, partnering for India's human space flight. So again, space is a very important area for mm. cooperation. And this is what gives a lot of confidence in the relationship that in areas with strategic impact, areas with higher technology involvement, France is ready and willing to be a partner for India. And again, in Europe, no other country has that capability mm. to be a part of India. Now, very interestingly, if you just look at uh, the normal trade and economic relationship, you know, trade with France is about $12 billion. And that's less than our trade with the UK, and even less than our trade compared to Germany. But in terms of political cooperation, France is India's mm. leading partner in Europe. All right, uh, we've run out of time, but Ambassador Arun Singh and Sumit Anand, thank you so much for putting the Prime Minister's visit in perspective for our viewers. Clearly, there will be big deliverables on trade between the two countries, investments, FDI, defence, space and uh, nuclear cooperation as well. We'll uh, take a short break here on Global Eye, but uh, when we return, U.S. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen, during her four-day trip to Beijing, speaks out against China's unfair treatment to U.S. companies. We'll discuss that and much more with former ambassador to China, Ashok Kanta, when we're back.